A sad story in Forest Park today. The historic building known as the Barney Mansion has collapsed. Springfield police are investigating the scene. People are urged to stay away from the site as work crews continue to remove the Barney rubble. Readers rave, yes they do, about things to see and stuff to do, what to, what eat. to eat and where to go. It really is revealing what the readers know, so they make their choices and they vote them in to MassLive.com and the Republican, where they publish all the winners and we all find out the kind of things that readers like to rave about. My name is Hank Herschel and I'm the uh, who improved Mickey since 1971. The store itself has been here since 1956. Our showroom, uh, we basically sell bikes for the kids, BMX bikes and dirt jumping bikes, some retro bikes. Has the invention of the automobile affected your business at all? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, the automobile was around when I started, so. Do you have any stationary bikes for agoraphobics? No, I don't. All right, what would you like to say to the people who, uh, who voted for you? I'd like to say, uh, come here with your platinum card and make sure I stay in business so you can vote for me again next year. <laughs> well, I'd like to say thank you very much. And uh, we work hard at what we do, and what we try to do is uh, keep people smiling and keep people moving. Uh, Peter Roskopf from Lock Cabin Delaney House. Where might somebody get married here? Oh, absolutely. Why don't we walk over to uh, the Grand Salon here at the Delaney House? Okay, sounds good. I'll bet the bathrooms are very nice also. Oh, I, I gotta bring you in there now. Do you want to go ladies' room or men's room? Let's go ladies' room. Okay, sounds great. This is a beautiful bathroom. Yeah, this is a gorgeous bathroom. And where are the urinals? The women make the decisions, and they deserve a great bathroom. Okay. Can you leave me alone in here for a minute? I'm showing you the courtyard at the Delaney House. This is a space where guests can enjoy the outdoors here. How long has this been here? Uh, the hotel is about 14 years old right now. Oh, I should get out more. This is one of our ceremony areas. Uh, also a great area for pictures that we use here at the Delaney House. Come on up, I want to show you. Very important to have outdoor ceremony areas. At the log cabin, we have the amazing view. This would be a nice bocce court. I think that's about it here for the Delaney House. Thank you so much for coming. Hopefully, we'll see you all again soon. I'm Bruce Lessels and I'm uh, founder and owner of Zora Outdoor. So it's a three hour trip. We start you out on a, be on a beginner zip line, a very low, easy zip line. That, and then we uh, take you on the, on the course and the course gets gradually more difficult, and more, um, more exciting as you go. The rafting is on several different sections of river. We primarily operate on the Deerfield River, which is right out in front of our shop here. Have you ever considered using the slogan, it's Zorgasmic? <laughs> we have not yet. Yeah, that's probably for the better. Bruce, do people ask you if you play basketball at all? <laughs> they do. I'll bet. And I don't. Thanks for voting for us, and uh, thanks for the, for the vote of confidence. We appreciate it. Hi, my name is Robert from Robert Charles Photography. My job is taking the photographs, and this is the team that makes everything possible. Rob, I've never met you uh, before. I pictured you as a stodgy old man. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> what makes a good portrait photographer? I'm trying to pay attention to the person and, and understand how they see themselves, and then trying to celebrate the parts of themselves they feel best about. Bob, have you ever photographed someone naked? <laughs> Yeah, actually, we did some nudes earlier today, actually. So why, um, so why were you naked? <laughs> well, what was the question? <laughs> Thank you to all those who gave us the, um, the honor uh, to be part of this incredible group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Deborah Vega, and I am the co-director of Vega Yoga and Movement Arts here in Open Square, Holyoke. Some of the benefits of doing yoga are, of course, relaxation, feeling better than you did when you started class. Do you ever use yoga to frighten small children? Actually, yoga works great for children. I would like to say thank you so much to all the Reader Raves voters. Um, we are honored to be your favorite local yoga studio. I'm going to be at the Reader Raves banquet. Could you say hello to me? Hello, David. Remember that yoga is for everyone. We're at uh, Brass Tech of Springfield, uh, Western Mass Horn Band. And what's your name? My name's Carl. Do you spell it with a C or the communist way? With a C. That's <laughs> right, yes. How long have you guys been together? Since 1996. When are you going to cut this out and get a real job? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, good. What can we expect when we come see you? We're a party rock horn band. We play a lot of rock and roll, a lot of uh, great guitar with horns, with uh, high energy impact. Keep coming out, supporting live local music, whether it's Brass Stack of Springfield or any other local band that you like. Sure, put the clicker down, come on out, have a good time. My name is Michael Lexak. I'm the Executive Vice President for People's Bank and the Senior Lender for the bank. Do you have any children? I have three children. Do they have any idea what you do? No. Okay. What is so fun about working at People's Bank? <laughs> well, let's start with our people. Our people are very fun. Um, I'm start over again. Uh, last year we had cupcake delivery, we had um, trivia contests. Did you yourself vote for uh, People's as the best place to, uh, to work? Did I? Of course. And how many people were fired for not voting? <laughs> we do a lot for the community and, and uh, by winning this award, the uh, shows that the community cares about us as well. Many thanks, we appreciate it, and we are a great place to work, so come down and apply for a job. My name is Mary Bowen and I'm the manager of Alpha Map Tattoo. We're doing some uh, Northern Lights, finishing off a, a half sleep here. The name Off the Map Tattoo, where does that come from? The concept was mainly that we wanted somewhere that was sort of out of the city. We wanted it to be a big thing in a little location. Do you have any tattoos? I do. My legs are actually quite heavily tattooed. If I scream, I'm going to scream like a man, just so you know. Do you have a return policy? Uh, well, you know, it's kind of there forever, so... <laughs> Is it painful to have a tattoo? Oh, no. It feels like being kissed. It feels like being, being kissed by somebody who's got razor blades on their lips. My name is Jim Barkley. I'm the manager here at the Savers in West Springfield. Our purpose is to uh, take in used clothing we get through donations uh, on behalf of Big Brothers and Big Sisters, put out the best ones. Could you show me around the store a little bit? Sure. Uh, we're over in our book department. Again, a very extensive book selection that we have. Can you put us in women's clothing? Sure. Uh, we do carry a pretty extensive uh, line of women's clothing. We carry potentially every brand of clothing that's ever made. We're over in the housewares department, and right now it's another big category that we get. You're located next to Bob's. Does he ever shop here? Haven't actually seen Bob in the building, no. What would you say to all the people who voted for you? A heartfelt thank you. Well, it, was a, it was a big surprise, uh, and it is greatly appreciated. I'm Paula Cox 
and I'm the owner of Doggy Doos. Do you like dogs? I love dogs. They are my passion. Have you ever cut off something you weren't supposed to? Uh, no. <laughs> Can't say I did that. <laughs> have you ever had a client bite you? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. I meant the owners. <laughs> do you do haircuts? Yes. Really? <laughs> you seriously do haircuts? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did you feel when you found out you won the, the Reader Raves uh, contest? I was thrilled. I was very pleased, surprised, pleasantly surprised. I would love to say thank you so much for voting for Doggy Doos. We're, we're so thankful and we're so proud. Come to Doggy Doos. We're taking new customers. I'm E.J. Barquette, the owner of White Hunt. What makes this place so special? I think the atmosphere, for one, the noise, the uh, the flavors, the smell when you come in. How many onions do you cut up in a day? We probably go through 100 to 150 pounds a day. You smell like onions? That we all do. Everyone, everything in here and everyone does when they leave here, absolutely. Do people ever, ever come here to order seafood? Uh, actually, believe it or not, yes they do on occasion. People ask for something, but we always bring it right down back to where the simple simplicity of hammers and hot dogs. Thank you once again. We really appreciate it. Keep coming in and we appreciate all the business and appreciate people coming in and voting for us. What was your reaction when you found out that you had won the uh, the Reader Raves Best Local TV Personality Award? Pleasantly surprised. No, I meant what was your physical reaction? Oh, my physical reaction. I peed my pants. You actually left WWLP uh, the same year that NBC premiered Mad About You. Was that just a coincidence? Uh, I had a thing for Helen Hunt. Do you think you could take Scott Cohen in a bar fight? No. He holds his liquor much better than I do. Well, Matson might win on style points. He's a very snappy dresser. Do you wear pants when you're behind the news desk? Uh, about 80% of the time, I wear pants, yeah. What would you say to uh, all the uh, the readers who, uh, who voted for you? What the hell are you reading the newspaper for? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the nicest thing about that is the people who voted for me are fairly literate. That's a positive. <laughs> uh, so thank you. I mean, I, I really do appreciate it, more, more than I could say, especially at this age and this point in time in my life. If anybody likes me, it's okay with me. What was your reaction when you found out you had won this, uh, this Reader Raves Award for Best uh, Local Radio Personality? That it was long overdue. No, I thought that the electorate was drunk. I'm not being self-effacing, very surprised. Really yeah. pleasantly surprised. Didn't expect it. What is uh, so darned enjoyable about your show? Well, you tell us. Okay. We have no idea. Which of you is the grumpy one? He is. Well, he is. <laughs> when I set my alarm clock, I have a choice of the annoying buzzer or you guys. Which should I choose? I would say, how can you tell the difference? <laughs> I've always liked to say to the people that voted for you. Thank Do you it very again. much. It may be a cliche, but it's true that it really, really is an honor. And when I tell you that it was never expected or never anticipated, I'm telling you the, the honest to God truth, and I think that makes it even more meaningful. Scott Cohen, and I am a blogger for MassLive.com. And in blogging, it's always about the clicks, how many clicks you get. Clicks are very important. You know, this thing, the internet, the kids love it. The great thing about blogging is you can do it uh, anywhere and anytime you want. I blogged at a bar. Uh, I blogged in my office in my shorts. I at a bar. 
Uh, I in my office in my shorts. Um, I in the living room while I was watching a game. One day you're the sports director of the ABC and Fox affiliate in Springfield, and the next day you're winning a blogging contest. So they make their choices and they vote them in to MassLive.com and the Republican, where they publish all the winners and we all find out the kind of things that readers like to rave about.